is an ambiguous statement. It may be taken with different meanings and different contexts. It may be referred to express that a particular thing is high in temperature or a dish with too much spices in it or even when you see something that is so attractive. In Ayurveda, apart from all these meanings, we have another type of heat or hotness explained called as virya. Like every other substances, any food or drug is explained in Ayurveda with five pharmacological properties called as rasa, guna, virya, vipaka and prabhava. I've made videos on all these subjects in the previous episodes. So what difference does it make by knowing all these boring technical things in your life? Well, if you understand the basic concepts like rasa, guna, virya, etc. of a substance, you can easily choose the right food and avoid the wrong ones according to your physical condition or prakriti. By opting the right stuffs at the right situation, you can even turn your regular food or meal into medicines and can prevent or can even cure certain medical conditions. You can design, develop and customize your lifestyle based on these informations. This is Dr. Sri Rajya and let's see how the virya of a food is affecting our health. Virya, as in Malayalam or in Sanskrit, means the potency of a substance. It's of course not a definite word, but only a relative term to indicate whether a particular thing is hot or cold. And it's not the physical measurement or temperature of a substance that you calculate in degrees or Fahrenheit, but it's rather the inherent property of a substance that could impact on our body as cold or hot. For example, ginger and pepper are classified as hot substances and they will do their karma even when they are refrigerated in a freezer. You must have heard or even personally experienced that chicken or eggs are hot in potency whereas a banana or cucumber is cold. That is classified so based on the effect or karma of those substances on our body. Ushna and Shita are the two viryas of a substance. It may sound silly but the whole Ayurvedic treatments, both external and internal medications, depends on the virya of a substance. If the exposure to cold substances or cold atmosphere creates a particular symptom or makes a particular condition worse, doing the opposite is the treatment. That is nothing but subjecting to heat. It's as simple as that. Now, how to assess the virya of a particular drug or food? Most edible things and drugs around us are already classified as either hot or cold or a moderate mix of both by the ancient Ayurvedic text itself. And if you cannot find the textual references, you can assess the virya by tasting it or by closely observing its action on our body. Usually, most substances with sour, salty and pungent taste are tend to have ushna virya or the hot potency. It's simply because of the presence or dominance of the fire element in those tastes. You may refer my last video to know what are those six tastes and how they influence on us. Certain things may turn into hot potency with the influence of time or by samskara or processing. For example, an already hot ginger will get hotter in potency with the exposure to sunlight. So dry ginger is more potent than the fresh ginger. An already hot alcohol can be even more lethal in the summer season, that too at mid-noon specifically. Similarly, the fish, which is in general classified as hot, gets hotter with the application of salt and sun exposure to make the dry fish as one of the worst things to eat. So in combination, the things that are hot can collectively make it hotter and the cold ones combine to make the cold recipes. Ayurvedic classical medicinal formulations are very well balanced in terms of their virya. As a general rule, the Ushnavirya drugs and foods can increase your pitta and reduce both kapha and vata qualities and symptoms in your body. Whereas Shitavirya drugs, foods and activities can reduce pitta and may increase both kapha and vata qualities and symptoms. To know what are those qualities, do refer my old video. So next time when you eat a very hot and spicy food, remember that it can create hyperacidity, piles, bleeding disorders, acid reflex, etc. And the same way when you eat something too cold in potency, it can give you a migraine, congested chest, running nose, etc. So make sure your recipes are well balanced. Hope you understood the concept of virya in Ayurveda and its application in your life. 
that's been it for the day until i see you in the next one take good care of yourself and stay safe bye bye